Hey there, my farming friends. Welcome back to Middle Grove Farm. Yeah, here we are, back here working for Adrian, working our butt off, I tell you. Been some big changes here on Middle Grove Farm since the last time I talked to you. I am here on field 73. That is our tater field. I have been busy um, harvesting this. And the last thing, you know, there was just a truck here. There was a Zeal truck sitting right here loaded. Uh, I wonder if the uh, Jackie Golf Guard guy came and got it. I have no idea. But anyways, I really can't do anything because I am full. And, well, I have. To, I was going to go empty the truck, but as I got out of the tractor and turned around, the truck is gone. So apparently the uh, Jackie guy, the old Jackie One Kenobi, he has stolen the Zeal and went to empty it. Hopefully he took, I took it up to the pig farm to empty it up into the pig food mixer there. But, boy, I'll tell you what, $112,801 in the bank. We are sitting pretty good. We did the potato contract. Golf cart jockey has been doing some mowing, and I think he actually even got another uh, grass field plowed up and seeded. So that is absolutely wonderful. Now, we did have the uh, rotop, the rotor combine, and we've been having troubles finding a combine that works in this area with the small lanes and the gates and everything else so grease monkey down at the dealership had a bargain bargain for us and we traded in the rotor and we were able to get two by zones two newer by zones and headers and everything else and we actually ended up making some more money on the deal so that's pretty outstanding i'm excited about that the two cardboard cutout guys they are just um yeah they're doing awesome they are doing awesome i tell you what I kind of, you know, I got to admit, I kind of been slacking here a little bit, but I, I'm, I'm pulling my weight now. I am pulling my weight. And I had great intentions of taking the truck up to the pig farm to get it unloaded, but apparently it, uh, the golf cart jockey left. So maybe I'm just going to have to sit here, have a bacon sandwich, and wait for him to come back with the truck so I can unload, so I can keep going. So far, the yield on these potatoes, not too shabby, my friends, not too shabby at all. Hey, you know what I should do? I should look at the GPS. Where is he? Um, I lost him. Oh, he's back down this way. Well, bring me my truck for crying out loud, man. What is going on? I gotta get my CB, I gotta turn on the CB radio. You know what I need to get? I need to get a little, um, handheld CB radio. That would be absolutely awesome, because then I can just say, hey, where's the truck? You know, like, where's the beef? Remember those old commercials? Where's, I think it was Wendy's. Nah, was it Wendy's? Hey, there he is. There's the old jockey old Kenobi. There he is. Look at that. He is a zeal driving machine there. Look at that guy. Go. No care in the world. Just um, cruising right along. But anyways, he's got the uh, truck. He'll, he'll crash into the fence and pull into here and get me unloaded. And then I can... Um, oh, careful. Oh, easy there. Easy. Oh, oh. You know what? For a <laughs> I don't know if that was a horn or if he... Uh, pooped his pants i have no idea but anyways man the driving ability has really gone downhill here at middle girl farm absolutely terrible but i tell you what this potato harvester does a fantastic job absolutely fantastic job and like i said the yields are absolutely awesome you don't you don't get yields better than this but anyways uh let's see did i get it all unloaded oh, yeah i did so we'll fire this puppy back up i got a little strip up there to get but we'll um top this off here so we're not doing too shabby so anyways the big deal about the um, the combines is we were able to get two, and the good news is that we got two corn headers. So once we get this potato field done, we can uh, tackle we can tackle that uh, corn field and get that all taken care of, and then we should be sitting pretty good pig food wise, because that uh, pig food processing plant will um, be spitting out pig food like crazy, which is pretty good. Because I, I you know I haven't been up there a little bit. Because Adrian said the other day that I should move to the cow farm. So, Sophie and I. Oh, yeah, God bless Sophie. She's still here. Don't forget about Sophie. Uh, so, we've been kind of making plans to get moved up to the cow farm and stuff like that. So, we'll probably get that done here um, after a little bit. But, anyways, I have a few potatoes here. I'm going to make the headland just a little bit bigger, easy for me to turn around. And uh, this tractor, cardboard cutouts. I don't I, I forgot their names now. Doesn't matter. They're doing a fantastic job picking those potatoes. They, they throw out all the rotten ones. You know, the ones that are bruised, you know, kind of stuff like that. So that's pretty good. Oops, stay. Ooh, careful there. Ooh, easy does it there, potato harvester. Well, I kind of like this thing. I, I, I do. We've had a lot of hours on it between this one and the uh, 
the uh, contract that we did, so that was all done. Go kart jockey, I tell you what, he uh, he worked hard on that contract. That he did. He um, he worked hard and got things going. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up. We should be done here. And not too. Oh crap! I missed something there. Not too long from now, we should have this all wrapped up, and then I can talk to Golf Cart Jockey and see what his plans are, what he wants to do. I think we're going to tackle corn. I think that is a good idea. Get the uh, combine, the new bison, combine, as I say, bison, get them um, up and running and see how that thing goes. I think that, I think that's, I think that's kind of about all I got. I think that's all I got for you. Anyways, hope you're having a great Monday, a new start to a week. Yeah, I know it sucks, but it's, it's okay. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good week. Hopefully it uh, will be nice in your area. You can enjoy the uh, oh fence post. Oh, I missed it. That is superb driving. A lot better than that golf cart jockey guy. Um, enjoy it. Have some fun, and uh, we'll see you back here in just a little bit once I wrap up this uh, this field. Like I say, it's not going to take me uh, too much longer. Or I could just uh, go real fast and put on some some banjo music. Everybody loves banjo music all of a sudden. I don't know what it is about the banjo music. Oh well. I am a potato harvesting machine, man. All the potatoes off of field 73 here are now complete. Well, there's four or five of them here. Let's get, let's get these just to make it a perfectly done harvested field. Um, now, I gotta get this unloaded. And here's what I was thinking. Being that the uh, root crop field is down in this way, I am not going to bring this harvester all the way back to the pig farm. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, crap, gotta hit, gotta hit the wagon there, buddy. I am going, oh, there you go again. you premature unloading. I tell you what, I tell you what, it's terrible. Okay, there you go, that's kind of close enough. I'm going to park this over here across the way at the arable farm. Maybe there's a power washer there. This thing, this thing is absolutely filthy. You guys need to take a shower for crying out loud and change some clothes. Look at you guys. You guys are filthy. Oh, but look at that. Like a farmer tan kind of thing going on there. Nice. Okay, that's that. I am impressed with the yield on on that field. Turn that off. There we go. I don't know if we have a power washer over here at the Herbal Farm, but if we don't, we certainly should have one, for crying out loud. This thing is just filthy. I know there's one down there at the, uh, at the sheep, at Jockey's Place, but I don't know if there's one here or not. Um, I should buy one for that back corner there, but so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, just for the sake of um, time and what I got going on, I'm going to back this up here in the corner. I'm going to leave the tractor hooked up to it. And I can get this cleaned up and put away later on is kind of my theory. Let's see. Let's just back this up in here. You know what I was just also thinking? Um, oh, no. Golf cart jockey lives in this house here, doesn't he? Yeah, I was thinking I could just take over here. I mean, this would be easy. All the stuff is usually here. But I think, he, yeah, this is his house, so I really can't uh, move into there. And he's got his dirty laundry hanging out there for crying out loud. I don't want any part of that. No part of that, senor. Um, let's hop into the zeal. Let's head up to the uh, pig farm. We'll unload the taters into the uh, the factory, and we'll see what's happening up there. Oh, boy, we got to get some fuel in this zeal. Look at that. We are darn near empty with fuel. That's okay. I think we have plenty of fuel up at the pig farm. We'll get that filled up there, get these taters unloaded, and then I suppose 
I better get myself down to the dealership to pick up one of the new bisons and get the corn harvest underway. I think that'll be a good plan. And then we can get that corn put into that pig food making facility. And then we can have all kinds of pig food, which is a good idea. Which is a good thing, because I don't know. When we get up there, we'll check the animals and we'll see how things are going. I can't remember exactly where we, uh, we left off with the animals. I think for the most part, we should be okay. Um, but I'll just double check there, because I know like last time that we were on here, we did a bunch, a bunch of animal work and got things kind of squared away and taken care of. But uh, another 13,145 liters of potatoes. Uh, this should last us at least a couple of seasons, I would think. Um, that's just a hunch. That is just a hunch I have. Red grip strain wheel. What more could you ask for there? A little monument there. Nice. I like it. Cars, people are be people are busy here today. They're out and about. Well, you know, it is 2.15 in the afternoon, so they are out and about in the boat. But anyways, that's all good. What's going on there? Nothing much going on there. Oh, look out, car. Look out. I have, you know what, I have no idea what the um, Jockey One Kenobi is doing. I really, ha you know what, I haven't really talked to him too much. Ever since the uh, date night hedge issue, uh, he hasn't really talked to me much. And I don't understand why. I mean, why wouldn't you want to? But I think he feels a little sore about that. But, hey, not my fault. It is not my fault at all. I'm not the one that did it. Don't look at me. Let's see. We'll turn it here to the pig farm. Boy, God, it's been such a long time. I Holy crap! Oh, jeepers. Hey, get out of the way, buddy. Look at that. Look at that man. He just drives crazy. Absolutely crazy. Coming down the road, think he owns a place, for crying out loud. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I should probably get on my radio and call him, but, uh, you know, he, hey, I tried. I've tried to call him a few times, and he ignores me, so uh, he's going to have to make the first effort. He, oh, look out sign. He's going to have to make the first uh, the first effort into this process. Uh, pull onto the pig farm, unload the zeal. Oh, don't forget to put fuel in the zeal. I can't forget to put fuel in the zeal. Nothing. <laughs> that would really suck if I ran out of fuel and then had to... Um, why is there a big eye there? Have you ever noticed that? Tech farm. Would you like to pay 4300 bucks to install a new pipeline to allow direct filling to the pig water trough? 18 bucks. Ah, oh, it's not the golf cart jockey about that, but that's not a bad idea. Look at that. We got plumbers here for crying out loud. Plumbers are willing to do some service for us. Not too shabby. A direct pipeline into the water trough. I, I wouldn't mind that, but I think golf cart, I think he likes driving that water truck, so I better not do anything about that at the meantime. In the meantime, I know the chickens. We, we got to get that plumbed into the chickens. Apps of broccoli. Okie dokie here. Why can't I unload anything? Unload. There we go. You know, the zeal has a little bit of an issue with um, unloading with the trailer hooked up. Okay, so we do have some wheat or barley. We do have some canola. And, oh, we have 16,000 liters. And we have 18,080 of potatoes, and that would be for this load. So we should have a whole bunch more coming up here, but I'm afraid that because uh, of the top number, the zero, is the corn. And that's what's coming up here in the near future. But the 1880 should have changed by now. It should go up to what we just dumped in there. Another 13, what do we have on there? 13,000 liters, I think. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, there, boy, there went up. Holy smokes. We got 31,000 liters of uh, taters in there. That, yeah, that's going to last quite a long time. Um, let's just go around the corner. I don't think we have any pig food available to us. What does it say? What's the number? Yeah, zero. We don't have any. Okay, uh, let's fill this thing up with fuel before we forget that, and then I got to get up to the dealership and grab one of those combines. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna beat golf cart jockey up there, and I'm gonna get first dibs. I want first dibs on the uh, on what combine I want diesel. Oh, we have ten thousand liters of diesel in there, so we'll fill that puppy up. Noisy airplanes around here, I tell you. There we go. We got plenty of fuel in the zeal. We'll turn that off. Let that sit there. So what do we what do we still have up here at the pig farm? Speaking of it, we got um, manure spreaders, some bales, a little cart. We got that up here. Another bale there. Let's oh let's check on the pigs. How are the pigs doing? Pigs, holy jeep! Uh, <laughs> oh boy, we gotta do some cleaning. We got we gotta do some cleaning. And yeah, pig food. Oh man, um, cows. Oh boy, that doesn't look good either. Uh, productivity has gone way down. Chickens, sheep, 
Yeah, we got we got some work to do before I can get that combine. I'll tell you what, let me work on that a little bit. Let me talk to Golf Cart Jockey and see what he um, what he thinks, and we'll have a game plan from there. like that fancy toy my friends look at that we have got ourselves a fancy dancy master ferguson skid steer loader for the cow farm and i gotta tell you um i have been productive sophie and i so i gotta give sophie credit too can't forget about sophie we've been productive we have been busy moving up to the cow farm our new little home and what a wonderful home it feels like we just moved into the ritz for crying out loud i tell you what i gotta give adrian a big thank you for that um, absolutely outstanding. So, the Massey Ferguson, um, we picked... Ooh, I'm kind of sinking there in the mud. Uh, Grease Monkey down at the dealership had a bargain for us that we could not pass up. A Massey Ferguson skid steer loader. So, we have that up here at the cow farm. Absolutely. Sophie, how I'm out of breath, man. Oh, I've been running around here. I did pick up one combine from the dealership and had that down at the, uh at the cornfield and I got a hopper full so I came back up here to get the zeal because I need to get the zeal down there for us to oh that's all that it can take okay so as I wanted to play around with the Massey here and muck out the cows so I got that all done so I've been productive there holy buckets Sophie she's getting moved in she's putting out the pickers on the wall she's got all her bowling trophies on a shelf I tell you what her shoe collection that woman has got more shoes then uh, pay less shoe store, I tell you what. Anyways, so I think we're sitting pretty good here. I got them cleaned out. I got them mucked out. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, crap, my phone's ringing. Who in the heck is that? Uh-oh, I got to answer this one. Oh, boy. Sorry about that. Holy buckets, I tell you, when Adrian calls, I have to answer. Anyways, so I think the cows are taken care of here, so we're not too bad. Um, this is a nice big farm. I, I feel I feel blessed to be able to um, call this a home. The home is back here in the trees. I tell you what, Sophie, like I said, is just loving it. I tell you what, she thinks that uh, we are uh, living like kings now. Look at that. Got a fancy house with little flower pots out each window. Nice. Absolutely wonderful. So... We're getting kind of settled in here. I've been getting some machinery moved up here from the pig farm. So I don't think there's anything left down at the pig farm, to be honest with you. I think we got it all up here. So we're going to hop into the Zeal. The Zeal 130. The famous Zeal 130. And we're going to head down to the cornfield. Like I said, I already got one combine uh, up there and running. I think uh, Jackie One Kenobi is going to pick up the other combine and head down there. And we're going to tackle that field and get that done. Because we need to get that corn up to the pigs. Holy bales. Jeepers, creepers, look at that. I tell you what, when that guy goes off to make bales, he makes bales. Man, look at that. We got all kinds of bales. Oh, I hope he doesn't ask me to help him. I hope not. Oh, what am I going to say? How do you just um, say to yourself, self, no, I don't want to help you. I don't want to help. 
But I suppose it would be the uh, partner thing to do. Oh boy, he's got more bales over here. He's I, when it comes to mowing, ten baling. That guy is a professional. He is an absolute professional. Now, the only problem is, once I got into the pig farm, I kind of got settled <laughs> settled down into the area. And now that I'm up here in the uh, cow farm, I have no idea where I'm going. Um, the map here really does just kind of suck. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to go left down this road. And then... Then which way do I want to go? Let's see. That'd be always oh, going to run into me. Left and then uh, kind of this way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, hey, where is he? There he is. Right there. Jackie One Kenobi. He's bailing. I tell you what. You put him in a John Deere tractor and that uh, old bailer, and it's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Okay, shift gears. Let's go. Let's go get some corn thrashed. We can get that. Uh, up into the pig area, and we will be good to go in that department. Um, like I said, golf cart jockey, once he gets kind of some stuff done there, he is going to pick up the other harvester and come down and give me a hand after he finishes up some bailing. But like I said, we are busy. We are busy. Busy here on the farm. So after the cornfield is harvested, that's it. That is all the fields, then we are done. We can get ready for some... Um, Winter, I don't know if we're going to do some cover crop or if we're going to do some what have you. I don't know. But that's why I was kind of filling up the manure spreader up there. I figure we have all that manure. We might as well use that. I figure, I don't know how long it's going to last, what our application is. But um, perhaps we can at least get a field or two out of the manure. That'll save us in some manure co or fertilizer costs. Holy traffic. I tell you what, th this area is busy. I think it's that time of the year where all the idiot tourists... They come and invade our little village here, which is sad because um, nice little quaint village. Whoops, stay in my lane. Quaint village. I uh, like it. Hey, that's easy to get down here. One little shot. I can handle that. I, 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 I couldn't get lost there. Now, remember, right, that's a tough corner getting into the field. So I am going to come in here through the farm. I should have kept going down the road up to the back road. A little back entrance into that field. That would have made more sense. But I think if I go this way, oh, no, that's not going to work. I was thinking, I got the trailer on here. Well, maybe I can make this corner. I was trying to make it easy on myself, but this is not going to be easy on myself. I wish there was an entrance to that field right there. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Instead of having this sharp corner here. Yeah. Oh, no. Professional driver. Professional driver. See, golf cart jockey. You take notes. You take notes and watch and learn. That is absolutely outstanding. I am quite pleased with the buys. Oh, the buzz zone, my friends. I, I like it. I like that combine. Not the biggest hopper size, but uh, the grain tank, whatever you want to call it. Uh, not the biggest in size, but I'll tell you what. It it does a fantastic job. It really, really does. So let's just cut down here. The zeal of the corn. Does that make any sense? The zeal of the corn. I like that. And we'll unload the combine, and then I can get busy uh, thrashing again. There we go. Oh, hold on there, zeal. Oh, too much power. Too much power. So let's see. I'm going to turn that off. I probably should wait and move it. But, uh, oh, I might have room to get the Bi-Zone through there. Yes, the fancy Bi-Zone Turbo 38 Dynamic. I tell you what, this thing is absolutely awesome. Let's fire it up here, and I'll show you. Let's uh, put in the auger. But look at this puppy. This thing is sweet, man. Oh, I tell you what, Grease Monkey... Uh, he found us a bargain on these things. Absolutely awesome. we got two of them now. We have got two combines here on the farm. So how can you go wrong with that? Put the snout down the road, and we can get these, this corn thatch. So 2,500 liters, and basically all I did was go down and back. So the yield on this should be pretty good, I think. Uh, we're going to have enough corn to fill up that uh, pig food uh, processing plant, which will be absolutely awesome. Uh, that is exactly exactly what we need to see now where should i go should i go back down that way i see i've been kind of going back and forth but maybe i should make this open up a little bit more i'm going to take a little bit off the headland here get more room to um turn around get things all set up for when jockey shows up and then we'll be ready to go let's see i'm going to straighten off this corner here too we'll um even this out and get this uh, field nice and opened up, as we would say, opened up. So anyways, 
Let's see, what is the news going on in uh, the farming world? Uh, I tell you what, I got to be honest with you. We've been busy spraying. We've been uh, spraying the sugar beets, got that all done. You put in, put in this, you know, basically just round up on the sugar beets, you know, to kill the uh, kill the weeds. And then we did put in a little bit of a barley cover crop, so to kill that too. But um, then we were off to the uh, wheat, and the wheat were getting uh, a fungicide, two sets of herbicides, and an insecticide. Uh, actually, a pesticide is what it would be called, all at one shot. So that was that was that was quite the uh, spraying, because the application rate is so high that uh, you can't do as many acres at one time as you'd like. But now on to the soybeans. So that's what's going on in the real world, um, farming world, the, the the virtual world. I tell you what, um, I, it, it drives me nuts. I, I sit in the sprayer, the, the truck, and um, see all the new mods and new maps coming out. I tell you what, I say I got to go home. I got to go home and check this stuff out, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, kind of made me thought about the other day that everybody, when FS19 um, first came out, <laughs> I remember everybody was complaining, this game sucks, this is stupid, you know, and then um, now we've been getting a bunch of mods and a bunch of maps and, uh, you know, that kind of all quieted down, and then plus the seasons um, coming out in the patch 1.4, I tell you what, uh, exciting stuff, exciting stuff, but nonetheless, I still love Meadow Grove Farms, I am, uh, absolutely loving the time here, especially with Gokart Jack, you can't go wrong, but anyways, let's see, yeah, look at that, I'm almost halfway full, and that's all I little did, so, and this is only a, uh, five, five row, a five row, uh, corn header, you don't see them many often, you don't see odd number, uh, uh, corn, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, yeah, you don't see that many, you don't see that very often, uh, usually it's, uh, you know, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. But, uh, oh, don't hit the zeal. Don't scratch the zeal. Oh, that was good driving there. I tell you what, golf cart needs to go to Farmer Men's School of Driving. Who would have thunk that? Who would have thunk that? Oh, ghost corn there for some reason. I can't believe it. Oh, look out, Hedge. Look out, Hedge. I should probably make this headland a little bit bigger here, too. Uh, then I can just make one little Yui without having to... Um, back up and turn around i'll do that i'll do that next year because i'm getting into some trees and stuff i'll tell you what we'll do it right now then apparently apparently we'll do it right now ghost corn let's get this even get this ghost corn i don't know what what is the deal with this corn it's just um uncombinable apparently well now it works i couldn't get it from the other way oh here's some other stalks of corn up here there we go maybe that'll work better well, now it more showed up. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. We will have to figure that out. But let's keep going, and then we'll wait for golf cart, and we can really tackle this, and we'll get this up to the pig food. And uh, pigs will be happy because they'll have a bunch of uh, pig food to uh, to gobble on. Uh, just about another hopper full. So is that three hoppers now? I think. I was so impressed with the yield, but... Now it kind of looks like uh, we could use a little bit better yield. So I think the zeal holds 4,000. I'm kind of wondering if I should take this up to the pig farm and put it in the pig food making facility just so we can get that underway. But it wouldn't take me that long to fill another hopper. The hopper full, I suppose, in the bison. But, um, but yeah, I might as well just keep going. Might as well just keep going. Uh, golf cart jockey is still busy doing bail, so he he's got a gung ho. He's got his work cut out for him up there. Uh, I envy him. I, I really do. Um, a lot of things I don't driving. I don't. But uh, his bail grass work. I tell you what, there is nobody better. There is nobody better when it comes to grass work than golf cart jockey. Maybe I should get on the radio and uh, give him a little shout here to say hi and see how he's going. And um, yeah, well, let's just let's just see if he has his uh, his ears on there. Golf cart, Jackie, Jackie One Kenobi, got a copy. I certainly do. Yes, sir. What is going on? How you doing up there, buddy? How you doing up there, dear Danny? Are you busy doing bales? Yes, sir. I'm just bailing my little heart out up here. I was just telling everybody what a great grass man you are. Awesome grass man. 
It's not even close to Christmas time. What are you up to? I, t I tell you what. Uh, never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Uh, right now... Crap, sorry about that. Right now I am... Uh, almost got the zeal in the trailer full. I tell you what, I'm a big fan of the Bison. I, I think I just like saying Bison. Do you say Bison or I say Bison? Bison? Yeah. <laughs> I was just telling everybody I'd look forward to seeing that some kind of deal you got worked out with Grease Monkey there for a bison. Anything with a Z and it's just fun to say. Well, we could, being that we are, um, oh crap, I'm missing some corn there. Being that we are in the English countryside, we could say by Zedon. I believe that's probably, uh, probably proper etiquette there. Yeah, you're right. We should definitely call it a by Zedon. I tell you what, never dull moment. Never dull moment. Um, how much uh, how much bailing do you have left to do there, old jockey one? I have just turned the bailer off. I am headed to see Grease Monkey at the farm, at the uh, store now to pick up the other Bizetan. Well, I look forward to seeing you in the Bizetan coming down the road and joining me in this wonderful luxurious cornfield we have here. We'll be there before you finish your mountain dew. Before I finish my mountain dew, heck. I don't know about that. I've seen you drive, my friend, but, uh, yeah. So, Golf Cart Jockey is on his way down here. He's gonna go see Grease Monkey pick up the other Bison. I kinda like the Bison. Um, yeah. Anyways, but I, I might have the whole field done by the time he gets here for crying out loud. The way I'm going, I am just a, uh, a thrashing machine here. But I'm going to kick back. I'm going to put turn. Well, man, we gotta get G we got to get GPS on these things. I could read a book. I could uh, watch some YouTube videos. Uh, all kinds of good stuff going on there. But anyways, I'll, let you, I'll come back to you. And went, oh, crap. I got I to gotta learn how to drive. Man, uh, here I was just bragging about my ability to uh, harvest. And I am skipping rows here. I am skipping rows. That is not good. Not good. But we'll wait and see what happens when the uh, when the jockey shows up. And uh, we'll go from there. I can see the other by zone coming down the hill. I tell you what, he went a better way than I did for crying out loud. He, he's a smart guy. He's uh, He took a little other turn there. And coming down the backside to the uh, field. That is actually a much better way of doing it. Um... I dumped another hopper onto the uh, trailer, so we're sitting pretty good there. I think another hopper might fill it, or maybe two. I don't know. But, not too bad. So he's going to come down here just as I'm wrapping things up, I tell you what. But it's all good. It's all good. We have two combines now, and I am quite happy with the Bison. The Bizeton. Because uh, here's the other thing. Because we can travel down these lanes down the road with just these corn headers. And, you know, now two combines. So basically a five-row header, you know, two combines, a ten-row header. So we can get by pretty good. And then we have two straight headers. And I think I'll have to double-check the width of them. But they should also work pretty darn well. We don't have to worry about, hey, look at that. Oh, man, he's going nuts. There goes, hey, there goes, fancy bison. Look at that. I tell you what, two blue bisons in the same field. It, uh, chicks will dig that. You talk about chick magnets. That's a chick magnet right there. Look at that guy go. He just he just fires it up, puts the cord header down, and he go, <laughs> he goes it down. I tell you what, I love working with that guy. I love working with that guy. I bet I bet he stopped with the pub. That's like pub driving there. Uh, pub crawl in the bison. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now that is a sight to see right there. That, that is a sight. Two bisons going to town. I love it. 81% full, so I'm not going to make it uh, all the way around again. I was just coming over here to open up this um, open up this uh, side of the uh, field, but I think I'm going to have to see 88%. Yeah, I'm not going to make it around there. So I might as well um, shut her down here and go empty into the, uh, the zeal. We'll cut across here. I kind of like this little path here on the uh, side of the pond. I like that a lot. I like that. I like it. 
Open up the uh, unloading auger. Don't hit the zeal. Don't hit the zeal. And we'll unload. Oh, we're unloading. Problem is you, the problem is you can't see the unloading auger from the... Uh, the oh, crap! I'm all... Oh, jeez, look at that. That's not good. Uh, I am... Oh, crap, my auger is through the, through the wagon and I'm dumping on the ground. Not good. Hope golf cart jockey didn't see that. He wouldn't think too highly of my combining abilities there. Man, that truck is still not full yet. Um, I was at least hoping to get a couple truckloads out of here. But uh, that is not going to be the case. Not going to be the case. Look at that guy go. Look at that guy go. I wonder if he likes to buy his own. I think he does. I think he does. I think he's quite happy with what Grease Monkey found us. I think it'll work well. I think our combine dilemma, our combine problems have um, have now been solved. Let's see, which way did he go? Uh, we don't have, we have no rhyme or reason into our combining ability here. Um, you know what I was going to do? I should probably square off this end here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to square off this end. Let's see, he kind of went right up there. So all squared off. Ooh, start. Ooh, boo-boo on the combine there. Boo-boo on the combine. There we go. I'll square this off, then we can take care of this little chunk here off to the, the side, and then we can just go back and forth. All right, like a pretty good plan to me. Let's see, I don't know what else we got going on today. Um, we got this field, the combine. The cows, let's see, let's just take a quick look at the animals. I think I still have more work. Oh, the sheep are okay, so golf cart jockey took care of them, took care of them. The cows, yeah, I got to get up there and make some total mixed rations, what I need to do. And the pigs, well, the pigs will be taken care of once we get this uh, corn in there and the pig food uh, mixer going. So that'll take care of that problem, no no problem whatsoever. So I think we're sitting actually pretty good, and then we got to discuss um, the next planting schedule and field work and fertilization. Let's see, let me... Let me start this combine down the next path here, and we'll take a look and see um, how our field situation looks. I um, I can't quite remember. I th I'm pretty sure we did all the liming and all the plowing, so we shouldn't have a problem in that department. Don't have to worry about any of that, but let's just um, set this off here. Let's just take a quick gander at our fields, where we stand, soil composition. So, oh, this one needs to be plowed. 69 needs to be plowed? Really? I could have swore we got we got that plowed. Maybe not. Um, 17, that's grass. So there are a few of these grass fields, but 69 looks like we never... Why didn't we get that one plowed? That should have been plowed. I thought we did it together. Um, I can't remember. I, I could have swore we did that together. Um, well, anyways... We'll have to kind of go from there, but uh, yeah, that's kind of confuses me because well, I know we see oh we seed it together. Maybe we didn't plow it, but I could have swore yeah we would have plowed it. Um, hmm, I have to double check with golf cart jockey, but yeah, then we'll get the fields uh, taken care of as far as lime and plowing goes. And if it just needs to be plowed, we'll have to get that we'll have to get the plow out and um, and get to it. No big deal. Like I said, we do have some manure, but I'm gonna kind of say that for some smaller fields and. Uh, We'll kind of go from there. But anyways, I think I'm going to fill up my hopper here. I'm going to try to see if I can get a load onto the truck, and we'll take that up to the pig farm here in just a little bit. Everything was bathed in light. Easy thinking, easy ride. Now you couldn't give a damn. Good old times that wouldn't last. It's shadows of the past. At the bottom of my glass. As for me, I have no
going to follow the golf cart jockey's lead. I think he dropped off the court header like I saw. And I think he's heading up to get the straight header from the dealership. Might as well pick that up, get that out of the way as I battle through traffic here for crying out loud. Traffic is nuts. They are absolutely nuts. I tell you what, I was in kind of like the middle of the road, you know, going to turn. And that one car, he just kept coming by me. No, no big deal in the world. So, yeah, traffic is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. The evening is upon us. But I think overall, what a productive day. Oh, crap, I'm the wrong side of the road. Um, with all the bales that golf cart jockey made, we got the all the potatoes harvested. That contract was fulfilled. The corn has been harvested. Um, pigs, like I said, we got to get them some pig food. And the cows, got to go up and make some TMR. So I'm going to head up there tonight before um, we call our quits. And I'm going to see how much TMR we have. I think we have some already made. But if not, I will... Um, Make sure to get some into the uh, the mixer, and we'll get some made there for the cows. By the way, I think straw, cleansiness, and water all seem to be um, seem to be pretty good. Seem to be pretty good here on Middle Grove Farm. I tell you what, absolute. Oh crap! Look at that. There's another by zone. The by zone coming down the road. I'll get the heck out of the. Oh crap! Look over that tree, buddy. Oh, look over the edge. Oh, I almost went in the ditch. I almost went in the ditch. You see, apparently we shouldn't meet each other on the road. Uh, golf cart jockey just smashed that header right into the tree. Terrible. And I was over. I mean, I got over. You can't blame me for that one. I think he was texting and driving or something. I don't know. I don't know. But then again, um, it, it is a challenge driving these combines uh, in this neck of the woods. This is, um, yeah. Hey, the tractor's here. I like it. I like it. The oh, he must have. He brought that tractor here when he picked up the combine. So, anyways, here's our little headers, our little Bison headers. Uh, they should work pretty good. And like I said, that was kind of the concept because we do have two of them. Let's see. I'm going to lower this. Is the reel down? Oh yeah, the reel is all the way down. So, the concept was is that two combines of a smaller size, we can be able to traverse this area much better. And if we had two combines, well, we we can do. Um, we can get a lot of a lot of ground covered. And this way, we don't need to get any of those stupid little header trailers. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Oh, car, look out. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Oh, yep, there, wait. Oh, crap. That was a close one. At least that car was smart and stopped. Um, but that is kind of the concept because we should be able to um, get around these uh, around these uh, roads. And then if we meet a car, we can just kind of pull over off to the side a little bit. That is kind of the thinking. And then two combines, we can get uh, twice as much done. So... I think it'll work out. I think we finally solved the combine dilemma. Oh, I should have turned right there. That was that fancy little uh, back road that um, go kart jockey takes all the time. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I kind of like that one. Welcome to Meadow Grove. Thank you very much. Let's see. We'll get these combines put away. And I'm going to head up to the cow farm. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? What the heck was that? Cement truck just ran into the back of me. Did you see that? I, man. Ooh, another cement truck. Um, the cement truck ran right into the back of me. He plowed, yep, yeah, uh, yep. Yeah. I better stop and alert the authorities. Yeah, he plowed right into my right into my rear end. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Nothing worse than having a cement truck up your rear end. Absolutely terrible. Man, that was bad. He just plowed into me. I bet he was on the phone. Uh, either that or he is a impaired driver, to say the least. I don't know. Uh, the cops will get him. The cops will get him. Now, this is be the test. So far, so good. I made it all the way here from the store in traffic. Now, if I can get into the farm and get her parked, that'll be just um, absolutely wonderful. I think I think the problem is solved. I think uh, we have so fallen the solution. And life is good. Now, where did he park? Did he park in there? Where did he go? Yeah, he parked in there. Look at that. Two by zones in the same shed. That is going to be a picture worthy. Uh, oh, crap. Portrait right there. Back. Oh, I got to close the combine up. I had the co oh, crap. The stairs. Uh, I have the stairs down. Kind of funny. You open the combine, the stairs goes down. Well, how do you get into the combine in the first place? That's what I want to know. 
Oh, his stairs are down. Maybe we need to turn it off. Hey, you hit my header. Um, there. Do I have a turn signal on? No. There we go. Look at that. Now the stairs are done. I like that. I like them a lot. I think that is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Let's see. Um, where is the force or the zeal? Not the for Oh, this truck. I wonder if golf cart jockey went down there to get out of the way because that was my transportation. Um, the zeal. No, oh, there it is. I'm gonna hop into the zeal. I'm gonna take the zeal up to the uh, pig farm. And we'll get this unloaded in there, make some pig food. And I was hoping to make it back to the uh, cow farm because I have to do that because I got to use this to make some TMR. We don't, I don't think we have a trailer up there. No, other than the golf cart jockey, about maybe getting a trailer up there because then we can make TMR with it. Well, let's see, do we have anything? No, we don't. We don't have a trailer up there. Well, to figure out something out. But, anyways, before we end, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the pig food, I'm going to get this taken care of. And then we'll end it up there at the cow farm for the day and uh, probably go have a highball. All right. I got 6,400 liters of pig food in there. We still have the ingredients, so it's slowly making more pig food. So we'll just pull around here and see what we have in there now. Uh, 1,200 liters. So it's slowly making the pig food. Um, the pigs right now... They're not, I mean, everything's up. I mean, we've got some stuff in the red, but, uh, you know, it's up there. Productivity's at 99%. They have uh, water and straw, so they're pretty good in that department. The cows, we're going to get up there, and we're going to get them some total mix ration here in a little bit. I thought I would just hang on here a little bit and wait for it to make another little bit, and then I can dump that in there. But other than that, they should be pretty good, uh, at least last for a day or two. So that's not too bad before the sun sets. Let's see, 1,600. Um, hey, look at that. Golf cart jockey is selling bales. We're making money. 2700 bucks. I'm going to call him. Golf cart jockey. The one and only. You got your ears on? I do indeed, sir. I do indeed. Are you making some money out there? Yeah, I had uh, three fields left to pick up bales in, so I figured in the ones over here at the pig farm, instead of running them all the way over to the cows, I might as well just take them to Mr. Joe here right beside the place and sell That's a pretty good call, my friend. Um, we have enough pig food in here to last for a day or two, so I'm going to head up to the uh, cow farm and take care of the total mix ration up there and then i think i'm gonna call her at night i've been working too late this is this is not healthy for me yeah i mean you worked almost one day in a row i don't yeah that's quite a streak you got going there don't don't stress yourself yeah i you know i'm gonna get i'm gonna get too overwhelmed here with all this work i i better i better take it easy i better take a week off again Well, I was just telling everybody how we were going to celebrate uh, Father's Day month. So, yeah, you just get started on that. That is a brilliant idea. All right, well, you do that. I got two fields worth of bales to pick up, 17 and 18 over the cows. I'm going to park them over there beside the TMR mixer, and then I am done for the day as well. Holy crap, I almost ran India. Sounds like a good plan to me. I will probably see you up there. Is it just me, or has traffic gotten worse? I mean, worse, pathetic. You guys are everywhere. Yeah, I was talking about that on my way to the big farm. They're uh, cutthroat out there. I had a cement truck rear end me in the by zone, the by Z on. Terrible, absolutely terrible. All 
I totally didn't crash while I was talking about other people's bad driving either. Don't worry about that. Ah, don't worry. Everybody that's watching now, um, they 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 already understand, my friend. They they get it. It's it's it's, it's a normal activity now. You're saying old news, huh? So, up here at the... Oh, crap, I almost ran myself into the gate. Up here at the cow farm, we're going to see if we have anything made. If not, I'll have to put some bales in the mixer and get things up and running here. But I should have some made. Um, good evening, cows. You are some fine and outstanding cows, I tell you. Fine and outstanding cows. Just going to give you some food, my friends. Just going to give you some food. What do we have in there? 9,000... Uh, 9,611? Holy buckets. No, we have more than that. Holy cow, that's filled the trailer. 12,000 liters full. How much do we have in there? 90, 94,000 liters of, of TMR. Holy buckets. Uh, we get a lot. We have a lot of TMR. Well, that's going to be awesome. Um, outstanding. And look at that. Here comes the guy now with the bales. All right, we, we are so efficient here on Adrian's farm that it's, it's almost becoming scary how efficient we are. Um, really, really scary. Now, let's see. I got this manure spreader parked here in the bad way. Uh, I could have just dropped off the tray. Why didn't I fill the truck, too? Well, it's kind of hard to get the truck in there. Uh, oh, don't smash into the manure spreader. That would be bad. Go kart jockey's big purchase. Um, let's see. I'm going to drop this off here. 12,000 liters. That's not going to go very far. Um... Oh, crap. Man, I, I, I got to quit running into stuff. Let's see. I keep forgetting what the best way to do this is. If I come in here, I, I got to kind of, kind of, I don't know. I'll just open this gate here, too, and see if I can make that turn. Um, let's crawl back in here. What do we have now for cows? Oh, see, that's much better. That's much better. 98% productivity. Um, absolutely awesome. We only have 12 cows. Uh, how many cows did we buy? I thought we had more than 12 cows. Did I take did I take two loads? I can't remember how many loads I took. Oh, man. Look at this. This is... Um, that's not going to work. Nope. We're going to have to do a beep, beep, beep. Back, 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 back. But anyways, um, I'm going to finish this up. It's getting kind of dark. i got to put the headlights on there. It's getting kind of dark. we got a lot, of, little bit of work left to do. I'm going to put some more TMR in here. I'm going to see if I can fill up the trailer and the uh, Zeal 130. And then I think I'll probably end up getting this manure spreader out of the way here because this is causing problems here for me. Um, yeah, get things moved around here. What is going on here? All kinds of craziness. Whoa, I see headlights. <laughs> I see headlights. Uh, don't mind me, golf cart jockey. I'm trying to back up there. Uh, yeah, we got we got a little um, all kinds of good stuff going on. Beep, beep, cow, look out. Look out, cow, coming through. Um, you know what? I wonder, wonder if I should just get rid of the um, trailer. That might be easier. I'll just use the zeal to unload. But anyways, we'll leave it there for tonight as the sun sets. Holy buckets. The sun is... Oh, look out, cow. Oh, golf cart jockey. You, you just ran over the cow with, with that bunch of hay bales. Um, <laughs> we'll leave it there today. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we absolutely appreciate it. Make sure you go check out Golf Cart Jockey as well. His channel is linked in the description of this video. Ooh, nice bill. I mean, I, that guy is just nuts. But anyways, uh, we sincerely appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we would appreciate any comments, constructive criticism, suggestions um, that you may have. Um, but we enjoy doing it. We enjoy doing it. Anyways, have yourself a great Monday. Hope the week is going well for you. I hope you had a great weekend. And we'll see you here next time on Metal Grove Farm. But until then, keep them between the ditches. So long. <laughs>